Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you. Um, we had a little bit of wind. No, we didn't. We had a lot of bit of wind. We had some snow. A couple few inches. But I don't want snow. Makes it hard for me to get my parts and stuff. Um, and now, it's raining and it washed all the snow here at about sea level completely away. And however, if it drops cold enough tonight, the precipitation we're getting now and rain will turn back to snow. You understand? So, what do we got going here? Well, um, I got an old 15 horse Johnson here. It's back from the 74, 76 model. Um, and overall, it's not in real good shape. So, I'm just going to part it out. I've got a fella that's uh, one of my subs, Mr. DR. I'm getting it off this motor so you're gonna see what it came off that I'm sending to you and I'll throw some of those extras in there for you that you ask about. So get it parted out. A um, lot of good stuff on it but she's a little bit a little bit salty shall we say. So here's the can of beast right there. The old G -G Green Johnsons. So, I know I'd already taken some parts off of this candidate earlier for another fella or another motor. So, let's see if I'm going to have to actually get a wrench. No. I saw it turn. Somewhat. Somewhat. There it goes. So. We're going to get to parts. Ta da! It's one way of doing it. Ooh, look at all that white powdery salt. So, so there, that off, and that off, if I can. We've got to get them off. There we go. There we go. Mm-hmm. One more. Get started off of there. There's my deal. Found my deal. You know, your deal. You gotta have your deal. <sighs> there. Gotta have your deal. There's my deal.
and my starter. And I'll put me a nut on there so it don't go flying off. Alrighty. I found some custom. This is the choke. This is what they were using for the choke lever. Custom. Don't you love custom? Hope I don't lose the little washer. I'm taking the cam roller off. I always lose the little fat washer. Because I got fat fingers. Oh, oh, oh. Am I going to be a winner? Am I going to be the winner? Where you at? Now, who did? I want to be the winner so bad. I want to be the winner. But it's so dirty, I can't even tell. What? I think I'm doing it right. Well, let me get the fat washer. I got it. So I'm half a winner. Pull out the screw. Take off the little spring. I can manage that. And then, let's see if this will come out. Oh, come on out of there. Hey, by Joe, I caught it. The little cam roller and all. All right. Now, so I'm going to go ahead and get the carby out, I think. I'll go ahead and take the carby off. It'll give me more better rooms. carburetor nut is all. Interesting. There's the copy. There's the copy that I think he needs. I'll look at the pictures one more time. There's the carby. And then you want a debt thing. Debt thing! <laughs> wobbly deal. The wobbly deal. Come on, you can do it. There. Almost. I was going for is a safety interlock pawl. <laughs> Let's try that. Let's try it. Never know, never know. Ba 
Schrader clips. The Schrader clips. We've got to undo them. you got to undo the Schraders. I do not like these. Never have. Never have. There. Got it. How about you? You like them Schrader clips? These little black plastic clips? I don't like them for a couple reasons. They're hard to get apart and they get all corroded up, and that's where the you'll lose spark is in them shredders. Demag. With the coils, or coil and the, uh, what you call it, points, perts, perts, and condenseners. Hey there, young fella. How you doing? It's me, Trader Jim. I'm the best trader in the whole North Territory. What can I do you for? Well, you know, I've been up in Horton Sound, way up on the Northwest Territory coast. You heard of Horton Sound, right? It's down there by Iglovic. You know where that's at, right? No, I, I can't say I've really uh, heard a H Horton sound. Uh, you know, I've heard of a, a Norton sound, but a you know, Horton sound? I, 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 I don't ring a bell. You know Horton sound. Below that old white mountain, just a little southeast of Nome. I was thinking, you know, I was talking to old Norbert up there, you know, he's from Gamble, and he, uh, he kind of works on outboards too up that part of the neck of the country. And he told me he was needing some parts. And so I was talking to my cousin, Billy Ray. He's the best commercial fisherman in the whole North Territory. And me and him thought, well, if old Norbert's needing some parts, Maybe I could do some trading with you and Billy Ray take his fishing boat, take us up there, and we trade him to Norton. I kind of remember uh, last time I dealt with you and uh, Billy Ray, he tried to pass off a bunch of old stinking rotted fish to me for, uh, for some of my parts out there. So I'm not sure I, I want to, you know, Nothing personal, but I, I, I just soon keep my parts. But anyway, what'd you have in mind? Oh, I'm glad you asked. I'll show you what I got. I brought some. Look at these. Oh, look at these. Yeah. Oh, them big barren sea scallops. Them's the good ones. Well, I do like me some scallops, but how I know uh, you ain't trying to pull another fast one here? I don't know. I tell you what. Won't you give me a little bit of time to think about that? And uh, tell you what. Won't you leave a pack of those scallops here with me? Let me try. I'll give you a call. If they are what you say they are, and they taste like the ones I've had from my buddies who are commercial fishermen, I could probably hook you and Billy Ray up. So, leave, leave a little bag of them scallops with me. Let me try. If they're good, I'll call Billy Ray, have him get in touch with you. You come over here and we'll make us a deal and do some trade. How's that sound? 
And I'll just cut these old shredders off because like I said, I don't like them anyway. The old impact driver on this guy. See if we can get it off. Easy peasy on that one. Not so much on that one. You got that one. That one. Come on. Always one, isn't there? Always one wants to be a pickle. Its name, Dat Two. Put up the spotlights, one and all, and let that feeling get down to your soul. Up the spotlights, one and all, and let that feeling get down to your soul. Name that too. A little heat. See what it did to the tip? It bent the tip of my impact screwdriver. It was in there tight! Tight! Looks like I'm gonna be eating me some big fat that big around. Baron C. Scallops. Mm, yummy. Had to do a little presumptium training there with old Trader Jim. So, yeah, he left me a bag of them big old beautiful Alaskan Baron C. Scallops. He ain't got no parts. He ain't getting no parts. But I got a bag of scallops. So, um, I packed up a bunch of the parts off of this one. Mr. DR, they're on your way to you. They are going to be packed in a padded um, priority envelope. It's a puffy U.S. Postal padded envelope and then I put cardboard to reinforce it. I hope it, I know it's going a long way. I hope it makes it there in good shape. So the only thing I'm going to do with this one now is uh, I'll probably fog it inside real good and then put a rag in the intake hole, get a cover for it, snap back on it, and put it back on my uh, on my rack where I keep these 9.9s and 15s. I've got about probably 25 of them or so that I use for parts. So um, hopefully I got what you needed off this one and it's on its way to you. And for everybody watching, don't you dare forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up like button. Thank you and that's going to be one.
more hat from Kodiak. Don't forget to subscribe now to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.